I am filming this video on a Friday, and for those of you that don't know, Olivia Rodrigo has just dropped the deluxe version of her sophomore album Guts called Guts Spill. <laughs> See, it's like, it's like a little play on words. And I guess you could say I'm kind of a fan of her work. I don't really know. I still fucking love. Stop! Stop it! Stop, stop, stop. Yo! Oh, my God. oh dude! So yeah, today we're gonna be listening to the five bonus tracks off of Gut Spill. Now, four of them were vinyl exclusives that a lot of people knew just because people put them on the internet. Me being one of them, I have listened to these once. Join the Patreon if you're interested in bonus reactions and extended content. Thank you to my lovely patrons, you guys are the best. This week for Patreon, we will be listening to, or reacting to, the Obsessed music video that dropped. Dude, that's so many bodies, bro. Why don't we do a little, little pre-game? I know my age. Oh shit. I like it. I put this on the freaking beach. Can you kiss a girl from high school? I'm tired already. How am I tired already? Track 13 is called Obsessed. Now, I only know, or I only remember the hook from this one. I'm so obsessed with your ex. But I don't remember any like the details, so that's a good thing. Ooh, that bass line. Ooh, oh that kick. Ah, ah. Let me get these lyrics up, hold on. Ooh. I'm so obsessed with What a bitch, bro. Can you imagine? Call my name, I think you mistake me for her. Bro, that like crying in her voice. Can't help it, baby. Oh, bitch. That octave. Oh my god, it's so fucking fun, bro. Like, I'm out of breath. Give me a minute. <laughs> Gotta be honest, during my spring break, I haven't hit the gym once. Come on, you're better than this, man. Chill. Think back to 1989 Taylor's version. You made it through 20 something songs, dancing your heart out to every single one. You can handle five right now. Yeah, I mean, that song was great. Really just like digging into it. You feel like you're like chipping away at your heart. A true headbanger in like its purest form. The other ones kind of felt like they were decorated in headbang, you know, a little headbang zest. This one was you're 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 eating the headbang right off the block. Let's see these lyrics, man. If I told you how much I think about her, you'd think I was in love. Cause I know her star sign. I know her blood. You know her blood type, son. I don't even know my own blood type. So the fact that you know hers, that's that's a lot, bro. And I know you loved her, and I know I'm butt hurt. <laughs> but I can't help it. No, I can't help it. Okay. The thing that I will say about. Olivia Rodrigo bangers, you know, the really upbeat songs, is that she has a very specific, uh, like, tone. Like, even when it does get corny, it's kind of, it's, like, really self-aware. Like, she's in on the joke, you know? She's got those lips. She's got those hips. Ah, ha, 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 that's a callback. Perfect all-American lips. And perfect all-American <laughs> You can't even see me. And perfect all-American hips. <laughs> that's so funny. Anyways, that song was good. Next track, track 14, Girl I've Always Been. I do not recall this one at all. Ooh, what country? Bro, she even has like a little southern twang in there. A level to it where it's like you could write it off like, no, I'm not making a voice, but she's, you know, she's she's getting into the character. Ooh. Okay. All right, all right, okay. Definitely very different from the rest of Guts. So much character to delivery too. Nice little. <laughs> that was funny. Nice little vibrato moment, and then you have to. Ah, ah, ah. But anyways, this song was cool. You know, I'm not ever gonna be like a crazy big country guy, but everyone's doing it. Beyonce's doing it. You know, we're getting. Cowboy Carter next week. Post Malone just made a song with Morgan Wallen. I think he's dropping a country album. Lana's next one is gonna is literally called Lasso. Olivia Rodrigo, she's okay on the sound. I think it's just because I know she's like doing a voice. You know, she's like doing a bit. 
it's hard to get into. Like, at least with Beyonce in Texas Hold'em, you kind of feel like she's, like, playing into it a little bit, but it doesn't feel like she's, like, straight up making a voice. You know what I mean? Definitely not as good as Obsessed, though, all right? Obsessed is a fucking banger. We're not expecting any of these to be better than Obsessed. Anyways, track... How do you say 15 in Spanish? Fuck. You know, those trays, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once, don't say, try say, catorce, quince. Oh, yeah, quinceanera. Yeah, quince. All right, so time for Olivia Rodrigo's quinceanera. Scared of my guitar. Okay, so another acoustic moment. This is more like a ballad. Hidden my gut in the shape of you, distract guts. My but I'm so scared of my guitar. Yeah. Oh shoot! She pretends that it's love. She pretends that it's love. Damn son. See, this is what I mean. Olivia Rodrigo always takes a little accountability. You know, I've made some real big mistakes. You make the worst ones look fine. This pre is a little bit basic, though. I gotta say, it works though. Ooh. Oh, I wish we had like something like fuller, you know, like introduce another guitar in there. Oh, son! Oh, you're just repeating one line. So scared of my guitar, out of my heart. Damn, son. Definitely feels like a B-sides. Guts as an album is really concise and has. Like, each song is pretty memorable. This one would have definitely went under the radar. But let's break this down. You know, I'm so scared of my guitar because it cuts right through to the heart. Yeah, I know it knows me. Yeah, yeah what? Fuck. <laughs> I can't read. Yeah, it knows me too well, so I got no excuse. I can't lie to it the same way I lie to you. You know, when you're an artist, when you're a musician, making music is like therapy to you, right? So it's almost like when, you know, sometimes someone doesn't want to talk to their therapist because they don't want to face reality. They don't want to come to that conclusion. As a singer songwriter, Olivia Rodrigo taps into something different when she's writing a song. She channels all her emotions and is really like, you know, reflecting on herself, being really honest with herself. So she's scared of the, her guitar because she doesn't want to know that he's a bitch. Get that fucking guitar away from me, son. I, I don't, I don't need that shit. And it's sad. Man, that's fucking sad. Especially that bridge, bro, where it's just like, I pretend that it's love. She's so good, bro. Hmm, maybe that's why it took so long to get a sophomore album. Because she's like, no, I'm boycotting making music. I know two years is not that long, but it felt like an eternity. All right, after Sour, I was just feeding it. If I was brave and noble like you, I'd have the nerve to just stop stringing you along. But I'm not half as decent as you. I'd rather be tied to someone, even if they're wrong. Oh, wow. First off, Bars. That's really relatable because I feel like a lot of people will stay in a relationship because they'd rather be in a relationship with someone they're not crazy about than not be in a relationship because I guess being single sucks. I mean, kind of does, but that's really concise, really well put. I'd say overall, very sweet, very nice song. Not anything insane, but what I'm getting from these bonus tracks is they're good. They do also kind of feel like stuffers. You know, which when a girl like Olivia Rodrigo is going on a world tour, she's gonna need some of those songs to just throw in in between the bangers so people can like go, have time to go to the bathroom. You know what I mean? Have time to hit the merch table before, you know, when there's not a crowd really. No, girl, I've always been. You're a nice song. If I'm at an Olivia Rodrigo concert and that song comes on, I'm hitting the loo, all right? I'm using, I'm, I'm hitting the washroom, all right? Track 16, Stranger. I think I remember this one. A lot of acoustic moments. I don't really know how to feel about that. Fuck, where are the lyrics? No, uh, 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 shit. Wait, no, pause the song. Fuck me, bro. Stranger. Oh, rod lyrics. This also has like a little bit of a country vibe, but not as in your face. Ooh, a little banjo introduction here, too. Ooh, harmonies. Oh. That's so good, man. I love choruses. That that ending line feels like you just wrap it around. It like comes like a nice little full circle. You know what I mean? It's like a square dance feel. You know what I mean? I don't know how to square dance, but. Okay. Just like that other song, we're ending it on like the, the smallest moment. Clean, clean, son. Very clean. No spoilers! Fuck. Now I know the next one is gonna be a banger. 
damn it. Fuck. Fuck autoplay, Spotify. The fuck? Another cute song, another, another B-Sides vibe, you know what I mean? Nothing insane. I cried a million rivers for you, but that's all over now. You're just a stranger that I know everything about. When you break up with someone, right? And it's like, they're just, you're just no longer in each other's lives at all. Don't even follow each other on socials. They're a stranger you know everything about, which is like an oxymoron, but it's like true. These lyrics are not my like personal favorite types of flow because each line is so long. It is a little much. Like I can't imagine myself singing along to this song. I mean, I'll probably memorize all the lyrics just because it's Olivia Rodrigo, but what I will say about these songs so far is they all have good concepts. You know, obsessed. I'm so obsessed with your ex. Girl I've always been is kind of just like a country beat. I don't really know. I don't remember that song that well. <laughs> I'm, I'm in the bathroom, like I said, bro. I don't remember that song. Scared of my guitar, really interesting concept. You know, I, I don't want to face the truth because when I'm, I'm a musician and when I'm strumming that bitch, I'm like... <sighs> it brings out that emotion in you. All right, we're on to the last song. Why am I using this like it's a mic? We're on to the last song. So American. Okay, so it's like wrapping around all American, bitch, right? And then so American. All right. Ooh. I like that fast drum. It feels like a pretty isn't pretty vibe, but like at two times speed. Woo! Ooh, that's fire, bro. That's fire. Oh, oh, bridge! Oh. Oh. Uh, wow. In a way, that feels like a... Well, no, Teenage Dream was a really great outro, but that song also feels like a nice way to round out the album. It's funny, it has like a very 2000s feel, you know, it feels like the song that would play at the end of like a 2000s teen coming of age movie. They have a song at the end at like prom, you know what I mean? And they find it like she put, she does the emotional I'm Radio Rebel speech or something. Like the slow dance where she finally kisses the guy. And then after that, she laughs at all my jokes, but they're so American. Like I could understand why some people might not like it because it is very much like self-indulgent in that vibe. If I'm being honest, right, it's just like fun. It's just like a good time. So I'm dead. Why am I doing this accent, bro? It's not even like she's British, bro. What am I doing? All in all, I would say these songs are good. Solid bonus tracks, but also very B-sides. Very, I understand why they didn't make the album. Also, I feel like So American is like her only love song. Like that she's ever written. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this little reaction. I know it's a quick little video, but I am working on a bigger one. Procrastinating a little bit, you know, I'm a tired boy. But let me know what your favorite bonus track is. Probably gonna be obsessed because that one is a banger. Okay, well, actually, I should, I should rank them. I'm gonna go obsessed. Number one, Stranger Scared of My Guitar. So American Girl I've Always Been. Yeah, that feels good. Because So American's like, I don't really get what that means. He laughs at all my jokes. He says, I'm so American. Bro, you're so American. Dude, the, that's the crazy thing, bro. Like, you're actually like so American, dude. Like, what does that even mean? This allegedly could be Olivia Rodrigo's current boyfriend, Louis Partridge. Oh, yeah, that guy. That's the number one op right now, okay? It's number one on my hit list. Hey, Not yeah. that kind of hit. Fuck. Not that kind of hit list. Why, 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 why? They have been reportedly dating since October, blah, blah, blah. Oh, because he's English. So it's not him doing, dude, you're like so American, dude. It's him going, oh my goodness, love. Love, you are so American. Bloody hell. I guess I got nothing left to do but shrug. Hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day and rest of your time until I post another video. Bird, bird, boo.